Hello my friend, Evan Scoresby here with HowToWithEvan.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up an email marketing drip campaign in Aweber. Alright, so if you're brand new to email marketing, uh, you might be aware of what an email drip campaign is already, but I just wanted to do a quick review. And basically an email marketing campaign is a sequence of email messages that automatically follow up with subscribers on your email list. And so it drips, meaning it just goes out a drip at a time over a sequence on a schedule that you set up and control. This is also known as autoresponder emails because they automatically go out, again, on a schedule that you set up and control. And so before we actually go in and set up a campaign, there are a couple of things that you need to have access to. Uh, one is access to an email marketing platform or software. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating and using Aweber. But if you have any other email marketing software, um, you can set up the same thing in these other plans as well. I'm just going to be demonstrating with Aweber. That's what I personally use in my business. That's what I personally recommend to you. It is a great service to work with. And if you want to get your own uh, access to Aweber, there's a link in the description below where you can uh, start a free account uh, with Aweber. Um, but uh, once you have your email marketing software and platform, uh, you'll need an email list created for what you are promoting. And so we're just not going to set up an email marketing campaign just to set it up, right? We need to have a strategy in mind. We need to already know what we're promoting. We might have some other things set up. So if you're at this point and watching this video, then most likely you're already at that point where you're ready to set up an, a campaign to automatically follow up with subscribers after you start advertising and promoting your website. And so let's just jump right into it and let's just show you how to set up an email marketing drip campaign here in Aweber. So I'm going to pull up Aweber here. I'm already logged into my account. And once you log in, the first thing that you want to do is just make sure you are on the list that you want to set up this campaign with, right? So I'm on the list for training demo list. This is what I use to train and teach and help other people like in these videos. So that's the list that I have active. And so you might only have one list in your account. You might have multiple lists. So you just make sure you select the list that you want to use in this campaign. And then you're going to click on messages right here on the left. Once you click on messages, it's going to give you these options where you can look at your drafts, broadcasts, split tests that you do. But we're going to be focusing right here on one called campaigns. Okay, so this, we want to set up a campaign for this drip sequence, right? This email marketing drip sequence. So I'm going to click on campaigns there. And automatically it might have a template in there already, but sometimes it might just be blank. And so if it comes to this page, uh, we are just going to click on this option that says create campaign. And it'll have these other options where you can create a blank campaign. You can import a campaign from somebody else. You can do a welcome series, lead magnet, lots of different options here. Each of these have their own place, but just to show you to create something from blank, you know, from scratch, we are just going to choose this one right here that says create a blank campaign. Once you select that, it's going to ask you to give your campaign a name. Okay, so what is this? Uh, what are you going to name it? This is just for you and your purposes. And it can always be changed later, as it says here. So if you want to change it up, you can to easily identify it. And so you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'll just put in something like uh, first campaign, something like that. Okay whatever you want to do. And again, you can change it later. And then once you have the name in there, I'm going to click on create. And then it's going to ask us to select a trigger to begin building your campaign. Okay, so if this is your first time setting up a campaign for brand new subscribers, we probably want to set this option right here that says start campaign when someone is added to your list. And so on subscribe. Okay, so we're going to click on on subscribe here. So this campaign is going to trigger, it's going to start when they when you start getting new subscribers added to your list. Okay. So now that we have this campaign going, we can set up these different options over here. Okay. So once it said once it triggers on new subscribers, we want an email message to go out to our subscribers immediately. Okay. 
We can choose to wait a certain amount of time if we want, depending on your strategy. But most commonly, you want an email to go out immediately to subscribers right after they opt in. So we're going to select this action. We're just going to drag it over here and put it underneath where it says number one. So this will be number two, send a message. Okay. So once we have the, the send message in there over here on the right, we can click on this option that says create a message. Okay. This is where actually we set up the email that will go out to your subscribers immediately after they opt in. And so I'm going to click on create a message here and in Aweber it gives you different options you can choose from on the type of editor that you want to use. I personally prefer and like the HTML editor and I'm going to select that option. Okay, so I'm going to click on HTML editor and this will take uh, me to the editor where I can actually start creating the e actual email that would go out. So up here at the top I have this insert your subject line. Now I have my email message already set up and ready and I'm just going to copy and paste so you can see that here. So here's my subject line. Thanks for getting more info. So I'm just going to take that subject line and I'm going to paste it in right here. And I might even want to personalize it. Okay. So thanks for getting more information, Evan, right? Or Bob or whatever my subscribers names are. So I can go to personalize right here and I can put in my subscriber info and their first name. So this is a variable that will automatically insert my subscriber's first name into the subject line to personalize it. So when they get the email and their name is Bob, it'll say, thanks for getting more info, Bob, right? And then I can come here and put in my e actual email message. Okay, so I'm gonna just take my email here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right into here. Uh, where's paste? Control V, paste. Okay, so here is the email. Now it has, I want to do a little bit of edits. Again, I want to personalize it and address my my subscriber by their first name. Okay, so I'm going to put my cursor right here just after dear. Come over here on the right and personalize subscriber information with my first name okay so it'll insert again their first name right here and then I want to do a little bit other formatting so I'm going to select all and then I'm going to change the font style to Arial and I like using size well size 16 is pretty good I'll keep it at size 16 all right, so here is my email, okay? And then in the email, I do have a couple of links, you know, that I want to put on here, okay? So in this example, it's just saying that, thanks for opting in and requesting more info about my ultimate beginner's guide to affiliate marketing, right? So it's a free book that I'm giving away, which you can get for free, for real. <laughs> There's also a link in the description below where you can download this free book called The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Affiliate Marketing. So in this example, I'm just gonna link to it and so they can download it, right? And so what I wanna do is I want to link this phrase right here. And once I have it uh, highlighted here, I can then come up here where it says well, there's this icon in the formatting toolbar here. It has this little chain link icon. If I click on that, it pulls up a little window where I can put in the URL to my guide. Okay, I have the guide up here. So I'm going to take the file URL of that guide. I'm gonna highlight and copy that. And I'm just gonna paste it in right here so people will be able to download it. And I'll click, click on OK. So now once I clicked on OK, it shows that it's uh, underlined and will show up in blue for people when they get the email. So here's the email. That's the only link I have in it, and I don't do any, need to do really any other formatting. Okay. So once I have the email message set up, I can come over here and click on Preview and Test. So I can actually email this to myself and just test it out, which I would recommend that you do. You could also look at the mobile preview. So if you click on a mobile preview, you can see how it look on a mobile device. And if it looks great, you know, you don't really have to do any other um, editing there if you don't want to. Okay. So I'm just going to go back to the editor 
And then I'm done with the email, so I'm just going to select save and exit. Okay. Once I save and exit, to that uh, I have my first email message set up. Okay, so it is set up and complete. And so at this point, I would want to continue to add additional emails to my campaign. And so in between each message, you do want to put in like a wait tag action over here and wait at least one day before performing the next action. It's automatically set to one day. So if it waits one day, then the next action will take place. And so if I want to send another message as an example, I'll just put the another message action underneath the wait. So this will go out immediately, then it'll wait one day, and then another message will go out. So I would follow the exact same process to set up another message for this campaign. Okay, and so let me just quickly run through that again. I'm going to go to the editor, okay, and I'm going to start a message for the HTML editor here. All right, and then I will just go through and do the same thing and set up this another email. So I have another email here set up. So I'm just going to do, again, true story for my subject line. And then I'm going to take my second email and just highlight everything down here, copy it, and then come over here and paste it. Okay, then I want to personalize it again with their first name and I'll put in their subscriber info, first name, and then I'll also just again format this for the Arial size 16, make sure it's at size 16, and then I would go link it up, you know, as, as I would need to again, right? And so I just wanted to demonstrate with another email in here, so I'm just going to leave this as is, and I'm going to save and exit, so it'll have these two different emails in here to go out on day zero immediately and then the next day and then again you can just repeat this process you know put another wait tat wait action under here and save it okay and you can set up as many emails that you want and so each email that goes out is one of those drip campaigns right it's a it's a, an email that goes out on a schedule and you can set up as many email messages that you want in this method and that's how you set up an email marketing drip campaign in Aweber. So once I have all of my messages set up and created there, I'm just going to click on save and exit. And then you want to make sure that you activate the campaign. So right now it's set to a draft. So if it's set to a draft, you just want to make sure you click on activate campaign. And it will say active. And that way, when you start getting subscribers added onto your list, they will immediately start getting these emails from you, okay? So I hope you found this information helpful and uh, in, your, in your own business. And uh, if you did, you know, I do a lot of videos like this to help you in Aweber and other areas of your online business. I put out new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also click on notifications so you'll get notified of new videos that I put out every week every three times a week. And then again, if you need access to your own Aweber account, you want to get that free book, check out the links in the description below. And we'll go from there. But make it a great day and never, ever give up on your dreams. Bye for now.